Miss Crystal Clark joins us live now from the intersection of Franklin and Madison Streets in downtown Tampa. Uh, these mini apartments, I guess they could build, build, be built in that area, Crystal. What can you fit inside such a small place? Well, Kelly, if you're a minimalist, pretty much everything you need. The units here at 220 Madison, that's the building you see behind me, come with a stackable washer and dryer, all of your kitchen appliances, and a bed that doubles as a dining room table. But there is one catch. You may have to get rid of your car to live here. It's an area full of restaurants, coffee shops, and people like Matt Sadiq, who keeps them running. So a lot of people work in downtown. But getting to his job at the taco bus from his home, just outside of downtown Tampa, takes a bit of time. It's like a 20 minute drive. New apartments could provide a new convenience. Across from the restaurant at the corner of Madison and Franklin Street sits a 12 story building. The top eight floors could soon be converted into micro apartments, affordable for the average downtown worker. It seems like only luxury apartments are being built, and we knew that there was a need to really address the market for uh, a lot of folks that, that are looking for just smaller space in the urban core uh, that's affordable. The 300 to 400 square foot units would cost about $850 a month, much less than nearby apartments like the Element, where an 800 square foot unit starts at more than $1,500. Garcia says the smaller apartment is designed to maximize space. One of the key features of it will be a Murphy bed. Instead of paying for a space that it's covered by a bed every day. You actually put that away and then it creates a whole dining room area. Plans call for a common space on one floor with a gym, cafe, and balcony so residents can have extra room to socialize. But there's one area where space is limited. Street parking will not be included. Garcia says he doesn't think it'll be a problem for people wanting to live and work in the same place. There's a lot of folks that already don't have vehicles that work downtown every day. They use the downtowner, they use the in towner, they use zip cars, they use Uber. And the apartments will be very bike friendly. They're expected to build a rack down on the street level as well as have space for bikes in every single apartment. Now, it's expected to take a year to complete these apartments, but they say right now they are taking reservations online for $50. You can reserve your spot for a mini apartment. Kelly, back over to you. It's going to be interesting to see if people want to do something like this, want to live there, which I have a feeling they, they will. All right. Crystal Clark. I think so too. Thank you so much, Crystal.